Hello everyone and welcome to the unboxing and demo of Xiaomi Mia Xiaofang 1S Smart IP Camera. Uh, this is a classic Xiaomi security camera which is uh, equipped with a 1080p sensor and it is good for home automation and uh, as a general security camera for the Xiaomi ecosystem. This one was ordered from AliExpress and it costs around uh, $20. It was uh, on discount. Uh, normally it's more expensive. This is a uh, EU plug which looks like standard American to EU adapter. It's not the big one. Sometimes they send the big one. So here it is. It's everything from Xiaomi. It's pretty small. Always smaller than you'd expect. And pretty nice package in white as everything from Xiaomi. So let's open it and see what's inside, if anything, apart from the camera. Okay. So, there is a small instruction manual in Chinese. I hope it uh, supports standard uh, Xiaomi Mi Home app. And this should be probably a uh, adapter with cable. As you can see, this is the adapter. So we have to use this one in order to plug it into the standard European port. And it has a flat cable, which is really nice. I love these flat cables. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to find to buy them separately. And it's quite long. It looks like what, at least a meter long. And here is the camera. Pretty nice one. Hopefully, I'll be able to attach it onto the ceiling or a wall. So, let's just take off this protective film. Here it is. This thing here should be somehow able to, yeah, as you can see. The stand can be adjusted. It's pretty cool. Pretty nice looking. So you should be able to glue the ceiling onto a wall somehow like this and then invert the image and put it in any direction you like. On the back side of the camera, you can see there's a charge port and there's another uh, USB port. Uh, I'm not sure whether you can use a flash drive instead of SD card and there should be a place to, uh, to, to put SD card and this is probably it. This could be some uh, reset button or, or, or similar. So we will need to plug this in and connect it to a power source and set it up in the Mi Home app. Let's go. Okay, so let's try uh, to install and connect this, this one. First of all, we need a power source. We'll just use the uh, attached uh, the, 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 the cable we got with the camera. And this will probably be the other way around. So this should go in here. I don't know if you can see. Yes. And then we will just connect it to uh, the power bank for the time being. Here's the Xiaomi power bank, so we will just connect it to one 
or it hopefully it will be uh, okay. And now we should press the reset button. We should press the reset button, which is somewhere uh, here under. This is the reset button here. And then uh, the light should start blinking. We will have to find where the light is. So let's just press it. There were instructions in Chinese. So let's just go to the phone and launch Miho map. And we will see whether we succeed to, to, to do it. Okay, we have notification one, new device found. Okay, we will connect it to our uh, Wi-Fi. And now we have to scan the code that's on the uh, phone screen with the camera. Connecting device to network. Still nothing. Mm -hmm. We managed to connect it. And it's telling us something in Chinese which we don't understand. Session timed out. But it was connected to, to, to the network. So we'll just choose a room and go use now and see what happens. Initializing device, Shell Fang Smart Camera. You can see the light is now blue, which is a good indicator. And I've read terms of privacy agree connecting authenticating and here it is full screen Connecting. Ooh. Strange. Let's see general settings. First, we will set the time zone to GMT plus one in Belgrade. It says it's connected, the signal strength is 100%. There probably is update to the firmware, which we won't do now because I've read uh, from, from several guys in the forums that it just uh, messes the camera sometimes. The camera is clicking and the light is now yellow. So we'll just Okay, something is clicking inside the camera and the light is now blue. So, camera is not connected. Please check your connection and try later. Hmm. I'll just go back. Okay. Let's try to connect. It's 
means there are some problems with connection. I will have to go down to my router and see if I see it in the HCP list. Probably yes, but... Huh. Okay, so here it is. Finally, it works. Hello, everyone. This is probably some zoom mode. High quality and low quality, okay. We will just leave it at high. Hello. Hello. Mm, there's a slight delay, but it works as an interphone. <laughs> cool. So we'll just... What do we have? Time lapse, motion alarms. Off. We'll just wake it up. I should have pressed speak off or something like that. Small screen. Mm -hmm. You can just minimize it. Yeah, that's nice. Auto, night mode. This is probably with infrared for night. That's why the picture is black and white. It was in low quality. Let's go to high quality. Let's see. You can see artifacts when there is movement, but still, it is a security camera and it works as advertised. So I suppose that's it. Thanks for watching.